you know, here at uh, Love Light Production Studios, we don't have a lot of uh, money in our budget for these uh, videos. Uh, so I spoke to the producer to see if we could raise some funds so we can raise the production value. And, uh, well, the producer got uh, a lottery ticket. So that's going to be our best bet right now to see if we can raise some money um, in the love and the light of the creator. This is the Law of One fundraiser. Yeah. Let's see if we win and get some good funds for this next video. That way I can raise the production value. We can get a, a whole crew in here. We can uh, rent out a production studio and get some proper cameras and some lighting gear. And um, some good microphones would be nice. A little bit of makeup uh, and wardrobe maybe. Uh, and some good talent uh, <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> Present the law of one, maybe. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Let's see if we have a winner. Kaboom. Oh, no. Game over. Kaboom. Kaboom! Oh no! Game over! Um, uh, no winners. Wait a minute. Got another ticket! Yeah! Greetings, my friends, in the love and light of our infinite creator. I am Hatan, and as always, it is a great privilege to address this group. I greet each of you, and especially those who are new to our group and extend to you our love, and our thoughts, and our gratitude for the chance to be with you. We of the Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator are about your planet in numerous crafts and we come from many, many different places within your universe. And yet, we are here for one purpose and one purpose only. We are here, my friends, as a single voice of love. Love, my friends, is the word which created all that there is. What vibration is to the physical world, love is to the consciousness that created the physical world. Love is all that there is, and all that you see about you day by day are manifestations of love. My friends, it may seem to you often that you are not looking at the manifestations of love when you look at your relationship with someone with whom you are having difficulty. When your nation looks at other nations with whom it is having difficulty. And yet, we offer to you the precise analogy of vibration in your physical world. It is well known to your scientist that all things are made up of vibration and energy centers. Yet to you... The manifestation of vibration seems many and varied. You have tables and buildings and trees and human bodies. Yet, all of these, my friends, are one thing. Energy in motion. And so it is with love. Each feeling, whether it be emotional, mental, or spiritual, each thought 
that you have is a feeling or thought that was originally purely of love. Yet, man, as well as the creator, is a creator, and man has invented many complexities, which take love and cause it to form many and various shapes. In your holy works, it has been written that the way to defeat evil is to meet it with love. This is true, my friends, because the original vibration of love is always stronger than its derivative, man-made forms. To realize that all that you see is love is to find peace. No longer need you feel anger and distress, resentment and irritation. These are derivatives of love which can be replaced in your thinking by a consciousness of the basic true love, the all-loving, all-serving, all creative emotion that surrounds and inspires each of you. And how can you find this fountainhead of love, my friends? As always, we recommend meditation. For clever as man's minds are, they are often too clever, and in their cleverness, men have devised many strange contortions of love. And in meditation, my friends, as you lay down these man-made concepts and open yourself to a deeper identity, the basic reality of the love that created you can make contact with you in your conscious mind. And as you come in contact with love as it really is, you gain strength to be able to look the world of man-made emotions in the face and say, Ah, <laughs> but I know a deeper and truer way to express love. If you touch base with this creative love on a regular basis, little by little your being will begin to transmit that love and you will become what you seek to become, an instrument for the love of the Creator. You are in the world, as it has been said, but you are not of the world. You are a divine being dwelling within the body of the so-called human. And this human will have a very short life. And yet the divine being that is your true higher self will exist eternally. Seek. To unify your consciousness as a human with your higher identity as a portion of the divinity of the Creator through meditation. This is a side note from Robert. Did you know, my friends, that the word human from antiquity, hue means God. So, human, God-man, you are God in flesh. Anyways, let me return back to Hatan. I am Hatan. I am now with this instrument. When we speak of the concept of love, we attempt to the best of our ability to bring to you our understanding of a concept which is infinite 
and unfolding to us and to you at all times. A concept which contains, shall we say, the explanation of all things. A concept which is much more than you shall ever realize by the utilization of your intellect. We bring to you those messages which we feel shall assist in your spiritual growth and in your intellectual understanding. We bring to you our love and our light. We offer to you an opportunity which has been brought about by your own thinking through your own desire and that opportunity is for you to come into the light through understanding and experience. To come into the light of the Creator and experience the Creator's love and know the concepts of which we speak. Enjoying with us and all of our universal sisters and brothers in service, that which we call the Creator. Each individual with whom we are privileged to make contact with is presented with this opportunity, with our experiences into our light. We can offer no more at the present time, but also there is no need for there to be any more offered. For if you are open, if you are truly seeking that you refer to as the truth, then you shall recognize it as it is presented, and you shall accept it, and you shall do with it to the best of your ability that which you do. It is you and no other who must analyze that which you receive. It is you who must accept the love. It is you who creates all that you experience. And we would not have been able to share with you our knowledge if it were not for the fact that in truth, you are seeking this knowledge already. We are somewhat limited even through this process, for we must deal with the intellect of each individual, and the individuals, all of them with whom we communicate, have accepted many limitations due to their experiences within this life. And we must break not those limitations too quickly. We must offer only that which we feel can be accepted and allow it to be dealt with. We give to you, and so also do you give to us the love of which we speak. We cannot begin to explain the great feeling of love we have for those upon your planet, and indeed, for those who would be willing to listen. We are here for this purpose, to assist in the evolution of human thought of man upon planet Earth. Yet we cannot assist without it being requested. For within what you might call the society or level upon which we exist, this is a law that you may not interfere with the free choice of any individual. 
And as we deal with the planet Earth as a group consciousness, we must be aware of your requests, of your needs, and of your desires, and most important, of your choice. Love, my friends, is all the things of which we speak, and it is of all the things of which we have no means of expression. Love is the energy upon which you draw to bring into manifestation all that you experience. Love is to each and every individual different, yet the same. The love that permeates throughout the universe is indeed the Creator. The love that is within you is indeed the Creator. You must recognize that the love that is within all individuals is the Creator. You have heard this concept many times. There is what you would call God within each individual, and you are constantly emanating that energy, that love of the Creator in all directions, in all your thoughts. Be cautious, indeed. Be cautious of that which you project toward your fellow man and towards the universe, for you are the Creator and that which you project shall indeed come into existence, and it shall also travel back and affect you, for you are the creator and you must live within your creation. Through the process of meditation, you may bring into focus the proper, shall we say, realization of your ability to create. Through the process of meditation, you may become aware of your divinity and of the divinity of all things. We know that through the process of meditation, you may attune yourselves to the love energies that are constantly about you, and that through these energies may be brought about the understanding that you seek and the experiences you desire and the purification of consciousness, which is, in truth, the desire of all those upon your planet. This desire may not come into the realization of each person upon your planet, but as you become more aware, you shall indeed recognize that that desire is within each of us, whether they seek it consciously or not. You are the only, uh, shall we say, emanation of the Creator that has the ability to formulate your experience. You may share with others in your experiences, and you may choose to dwell within the experiences created by others. Yet, no other can create for you any experience, for you are the creator, and it is your choice.
My sisters and brothers, it has been such a pleasure to speak with you. I will now close this meeting. It has been an extremely great honor to share with you in your meditation, my friends. I leave you now. I am Hatan. I leave you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator, Adone Vasu Baragas. Oh, one last thing. I received a really nice impression while I was speaking about love. At the same time I was talking, I received this too, and they wanted me to say it, but I just went on past it. It wasn't quite clear to me as to how to say it, but the definition of love, and it was luminescent, omnipresent, vacillating eternally.